Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I've got a Scentsy haul to share with you guys. So this is going to be my party closeout for January. So for January, Scentsy was doing like double half price items. And so um, I waited as long as I could. And then while I was in Korea, I went ahead and closed out a couple of days early just because I didn't want to forget. So I stocked up on some bars and a few warmers and then I got some new to me products that I'm really excited about and they came highly recommended. So if you'd like to see my latest Scentsy order, grab a snack, grab a drink and let's chat wax. <music> you guys so i'm so excited to share my party closeout i've only done one other party closeout and i didn't even film it because i waited so long so i want to try to get this one filmed and up for you guys so um i got some new to me products well they're kind of new to me i've had one of these items before but i just didn't get the opportunity to share it so i'm gonna share it now and we'll start off with like non-wax items so first up, I picked up as one of my half price items, I got a laundry bundle in Jammy Time. Jammy Time is one of my favorite Scentsy bars, like for nighttime, for my kids' rooms. I just love it. And um, the notes of Jammy Time are baby freesia, lavender, and sweet pea. So just strictly florals. And y'all know I'm not a floral person, but I feel like freesia is so mild and it blends really well with the lavender. And then the sweet pea just gives it a little bit of sweetness. Those are three florals that I just really don't mind. And then together, they're just like this beautiful, calming, just relaxing scent that I just really enjoy. And so I picked up a laundry bundle in that fragrance. This comes with the 48 ounce size of washer whiffs and comes with two packs of dryer discs. And then one 20 fluid ounces of the laundry liquid and I think they're changing these up or the price is going to be different or something so I just wanted to go ahead and snag one before that happened and you know it's a really good deal with the half price so I just wanted to go ahead and do that and then I've picked up another one of these bundles in what did I pick it up in I think I picked up the other one in fluffy fleece but it's sitting in a box and I haven't even taken it out to use it. So hopefully I can start incorporating these and try them out and um, let you guys know how I like them. Okay, next up is another new to me item, but it's about to be discontinued or I think as of February 1st, it's discontinued. And this is the body cream in Vanilla Waves. And I really love Vanilla Waves, and I'm really sad that they didn't bring the bar to the Spring and Summer catalog. I was really hoping that they would, and they didn't, but, you know, we'll live. But I wanted to try the body cream. I've heard really good things about it, and so I just wanted to pick one up before they discontinued them. And Vanilla Waves is sea salt, whipped vanilla, and caramel. And I love Vanilla Waves, and I don't think I've ever had it in body care, so I just wanted to grab one. I always say this when I talk about Vanilla Waves. It's a universal scent to me. I feel like you would have to try really hard not to like this. It's just a really nice, smooth, a little bit fresh vanilla. And it's just so creamy. And it's it's just really nice. So I'm excited to have that. But also really sad if I like it. Because I'm not going to be able to get it anymore. And then I'm so excited about this. I think it was my friend Anya Wickless with Curly Q here on YouTube that told me about this product. I had never even heard of it. I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about it. But y'all know I'm newer to Scentsy. I haven't been watching videos for that long either. I just started as a consultant, I think September or October. So just a couple of months in. And so I was talking to her about traveling and, you know, some of my friends travel with some of their like smaller warmers and bring some wax on vacations or weekend trips or work trips or what have you. And she goes, yeah, have you tried Scentsy Go? And I was like, I don't even know what that is. And so she was like, hey, you know, you should try it. And then I think it was Martha and she was like, hey, 
if you haven't closed out your party, use it as your half price item. And I was like, that's a great idea. And so that is what I did. I got a Scentsy Go and I know I'm probably like way behind the times on this, but I'm so excited to try it out. I don't really know much about it except for, I think it uses pods. So let's open it together and check it out. Oh, it's cute. It's smaller than what I thought it was going to be. So yeah, it looks like this and it comes with a charger and then I picked the pods in a polar bear hug and I'm sorry, I don't know the exact notes, but I know that I really love this scent. I think it is, is it blackberry and something? I think so, but it smells so good. It's just, it's kind of a unique scent. And I really love Blackberry, so I chose this pod to go in here. And I think you just take this off and then slide it in, and it's kind of just like a fan, and it diffuses the scent that way. Uh, could be way off, but I think that's how it works. So I am very excited to try this out in my home, in my car, when I travel. It's just like a handy little thing to have. And so really, really pumped for that. Thank you so much, Anya, for the recommendation. And thank you to Martha for suggesting it to be one of my half price items because that was very smart. Okay, next up I grabbed a Scentsy Warmer. I think I grabbed a bundle that came with a warmer and maybe three bars as one of my half price items. And I'm not going to take this out, so I'll just um, put a picture of what it looks like here on the screen. This is the My Sun and Moon Warmer. So it says, you are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. And I love that quote, so I thought I would put it in my daughter's room. Because right now, she's got the little cloud warmer that was discontinued. It's really cute, but it's not very strong. And so I thought this one would be really nice to go in her nursery and um you know or, or anywhere because it's such a sweet quote but i got that and then i picked up another one of the paloma warmers i got one of these in the scentsy warehouse sale and i don't know if that haul has already gone up probably has but um i'll insert a picture of what it looks like but i really like that in my guest bathroom so i picked one up for my kids bathroom because you know you can never have enough warmers but it does pretty well and the price was right so i just grabbed another one of those and then i grabbed 15 bars so three of them came with the my sun and moon warmer and then i got two of the six bar bundles and i just stocked up on some bring back my bars because there was only i think three that i really liked and then I grabbed a few um, that were going away and then um, a couple that I wanted to try. So it's kind of just a random assortment. So let's start. Let's see if I'm looking down. I've got the notes here on my phone. So um, first up, I grabbed three bars in Amaretto. And this is one of the January 24 Bring Back My Bar bars. And I love this scent so much. This was definitely a standout to me. I didn't really love that many of the bars at all if you watched my video, but I have warmed this one. It is a really strong performer for me. It is beautiful. The scent notes are almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. I love almond and I love honey. And this is just a, such a pretty scent. It's just a sweet almond. I don't really get a whole ton of spice, maybe just a little bitty bit, but it's mostly very sweet and creamy. It's gorgeous. The honey is so pretty. I love honey and wax. This kind of reminds me of Buzzworthy. Mm. Buzzworthy is a little less on the fragrance. It's like the honey is there, but it's not as sweet. I feel like Amaretto is quite a bit sweeter. But this is just a gorgeous scent. So I grabbed three of these and I also, I think, put one or two in my club. Y'all know I love almond and you can't argue with Scentsy's performance. It lasts forever and it throws really well. So I grabbed three of those. Another one from Bring Back My Bar is Frosted Ginger Cookie. Brown Sugar Cookie Warming Ginger and Fragrant Vanilla. And I grabbed one of these and I threw one in my club just in case. Um... And this smells good. It does. It's it's very, it's ginger heavy to me. 
it almost is giving me like a citrus type of vibe. Ginger leans that way a little bit. It's very fragrant. It's a little bit spicy. But this leans more like the clean lemon citrusy smell with the sugar cookie and vanilla. So it's very bakery, but that ginger is giving me a little bit of like a lemon. But I like it, but it smells like lemon bakery to me more than ginger. Um, it smells really good though, and I like it. I warmed it and I really liked it. Now, it wasn't like my favorite. It wasn't amaretto or vanilla walnut, but I liked it enough to put one in my club and grab one. All right, then I grabbed four of my favorite from Bring Back My Bar, and that's vanilla walnut. Y'all, this scent right here is a banger. It's beautiful, and it is such a strong thrower. I mean, it is so strong. The notes are roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. So I grabbed four of these and I think I put two of them in my club because I'm just obsessed. This smells so good. That roasted walnut is just a beautiful note. And then it blends really nicely with the sweet vanilla bean. I feel like it's kind of softer when you smell it on cold. But this did so well for me. I warmed it in my open concept. I warmed it in my bedroom. I warmed it in my office. And it did really well for me. So I'm super excited to have more of this. So glad to have it in my club. I think it's going to stay there for a while because these scents, the vanilla walnut and amaretto are scents that you can warm year round. I mean, you can really warm any scent year round, but I mean, these aren't very seasonal if you are a seasonal melter. And so I kind of like to keep those types of scents in my club. Obviously I have some seasonal types of scents and things like that, but I'm going to really try to cut down my club to be, first of all, only like really, really loves and then more, you know, anytime sense. So hopefully I can do that because my club is out of control right now because I kind of freaked out and like put a lot of stuff that was going away in there just to make sure I had it in case I wanted to keep it. And then thinking I would trim down either quantities or just delete the bars altogether if I changed my mind or if I was stocked up like I did now. So sometimes I do that when they're, you know, going to go away. It freaks me out. So I just throw them in my club just in case. But anywho, I digress. Next up, I grabbed two of King Cake, which also went away, I think, February 1st. I love this. This is another banger. It's a great bakery scent, which is, you know, kind of rare now for Scentsy. I feel like they've discontinued all of the really good ones. But you guys, I love this one. And I wanted to get two because I want to warm one on Fat Tuesday which is tomorrow, um, filming this on the 12th of February. Um, but this is King Cake, sweet crust of cinnamon and brown sugar coated with silky notes of golden butter. Y'all, this is so good. It's a rich, creamy, sweet bakery, and it's just gorgeous. If I can get it to come out. There it goes. I love this so much. It's kind of giving me... Like it's crumb tops, probably second or third cousin. It's a little sweeter and it's a little, I mean, I think Steph from Steph Loves Life was saying if you put king cake with amaretto, it would give you like almond croissant vibes. And I totally get that. Like smelling them together, I totally get those vibes because the king cake is giving you that crust. Amaretto is giving you that almond. And yeah, I think that would be a killer combo or even caramel praline cake with almond because caramel praline cake smells very similar to king cake. I feel like it's a little more of a crumb top, um, probably a first cousin to crumb top instead of second or third. But I will say king cake is a better performer than caramel praline cake in my home. I have both of them in my club. I'll probably only keep king cake, but caramel praline cake is there for now. Okay, then I got two of Squeeze the Day. This was another recommendation from Anya, Wickless with Curly Q. So thank you for the recommendation, Anya. Anya also gave me a piece of her Squeeze the Day brick to try because everyone knows I'm broken up with Lemon Bakery right now and I'm trying to kind of ease myself back in to prepare for spring and summer. I like to warm like fruity bakery, those types of cereal, bright, fresh scents for spring and summer. I know I said I'm not a seasonal melter, but 
I do like to warm those types of scents. And so she said it was a really good lemon. It was creamy. It's not like a cleaner lemon. It's not a super tart lemon. And so she gave me that piece of her brick to try and I really liked it. So I grabbed two more bars. The notes are pure lemons balanced by a hint of vanilla cream. And yes, this does smell like a, a fresh lemon. But I'm not getting like bathroom cleaner or super tart lemon. It's just a really nice lemon. And then that vanilla cream really helps to smooth it out and, and add a little bit of a bakery vibe. I feel like this would go really well with like a super fruity strawberry blackberry i love those types of really sweet scents with lemon um like what is that scentsy bar strawberry lemon cake is that it strawberry lemon something it was last year i think it's coming back and i really like that combo together so yeah i'm really excited to have two of these then i grabbed a bar of dashing which I don't think I had ever tried until recently, and I really like it. It's vanilla, creamy mahogany, and fresh night skies, and I really like this one. We were talking about this bar on our live uh, when we did what our predictions were for spring-summer, and yeah, this is so nice. So I was scared to try this bar because of the mahogany. I feel like anytime I see mahogany, I feel like mahogany and teak wood from Bath & Body Works. And while that does smell really nice, I got burnt out on it. My husband had the like room spray in his bathroom and I burned the candle of it and I'm just mahogany teak wooded out. It's too strong for me now and gives me a headache. But this is very subtle. I do get the mahogany, but the vanilla really creams it out. And it's just subtle. It's not overbearing. It's not going to give me a headache. It's just a really, really good scent. And then lastly, I grabbed two of Frosted Vanilla, which is another one that I really like. Sweet Vanilla Bean, Birch Bark, and Frosty Air. And this almost smells a little minty to me. It's really, really nice. So it's creamy. You get that birch. Maybe there's a little bit of mint in the Frosty Air note. But... It's very creamy. It's also really light. I haven't warmed this one yet, but it's very light on cold, but I really do like it. So that is everything that I got in my January 2024 party closeout. So I'm very excited to try all of these things, try all the new to me things and to warm some of my favorite bars. And I always like to stock up because it makes me not feel as obligated to like put so many in my club if I've got a little stash because y'all know I just can't warm things if I only have one of them. I don't know what it is. I like to have a backup just in case. And um, yeah, I, why am I like this? I have no idea. But if you've tried any of these things, if you've tried the Scentsy Go, let me know what some of your favorite pods are, where you like to use it. I would love your tips and tricks. If you have the Sun and Moon or the Paloma Warmer, let me know how they work for you. And then if you've tried the laundry items in jammy time, do you like that? Do you like that scent? Does it smell the same as it does in wax? Let me know. And then if you have any of the bars that I got and they're your favorites too, I would love to know that as well. So I want to just thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today. I really appreciate all of your love and support on my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend whenever you are watching. If you like this content, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and love to chat with you in the comments. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all on my next video very soon. Bye.